So I've checked out, hello everyone. Now this is the review of the new Mountain Dew gingerbread snapped drink. So here we go. Mountain Dew ginger snapped. Like initially you think, oh, what's that? Like medicine, but hang on. Oh, my, hang on. Dew with a blast of artificial gingerbread flavor. 160 calories per can. <laughs> For me, that falls into the category of special pop. Special pop is what I have on Sunday with a Sunday dinner. It's nice. It's not as nice as like proper drinks like coconut chocolate. <laughs> but it's all right. That was my review of... <laughs> The bubbly mountain dew ginger snaps. <sighs> I'm struggling to find things to do today. Um, oh. <laughs> right, catch you later. <laughs> oh, I'll tell you what they did do, which was good of them. Oh, let's put that mountain dew there. He's all went and said, oh, I'm still, I haven't done the hotel review because I'm rubbish and I'm running late. They said, no worries. Here's another key. So that'll get you in all the facilities. And here's a towel. If you want to go swimming, use the hot tub, use the gym, do whatever you want. You know, they obviously got to get in and clean the room for the next guest. I thought that was really nice of him. Again, the customer service here has been brilliant. But I'm going to carry on. I'll say bye now and I'm off. There's the Tragical Express going back to the airport. People going home, like me, we're going home. Ah, it's all good. It's good to travel, isn't it? It's good to go away. And then it's good to go home. Oh, I'm so hungry, I buggered it all over my mush. Mm. Mm. I have had to pop, we've only got 20 minutes to drop the car off, but oh, I don't care, I was starving. So I popped in the Mackie D's. Oh, I'm so hungry. Oh. I'm so hungry. Mm. Oh, yum, yum, yum. Well, I wolfed that down. It's the last time we're going through the tolls, I think, on this trip. Oh, well. It's been a cracking trip, though. It's not over yet. I'm sure there'll be some shenanigans, especially with the amount of luggage I've try got to try and wag through the weight again. We're at the airport. There's all the planes. Where we dropped the car off, I don't know. I saw a sign miles back that said car rental drop off, but it didn't say Alamo. It's not been as clear as Sanford Airport. I've just followed, because I'm on a Delta flight, signs for Terminal B. Maybe I have to drive back to wherever the drop off was. I've got no idea. I'm sure somebody will tell me something when I get to a place where they say, no, you're not supposed to be here. And I'll say, right, how do we get there then? And they'll let me know. Return car rental. Well, I'm going to aim for that, so I want that middle lane. Right, Terminal B, just follow it to the car rental return, and then Alamo, level one to the right. So, level one to the right. Level one, Alamo. I'm just looking for a sign that says Alamo. Alamo, car return. This could be the place where I pick the car up. Car return. Alamo Enterprise. And there we go. Oh sh. Do you drive over these bikes? Please pull forward. And that must be it. It must be done. Please you leave your keys in the vehicle. And that's it, job done. And I had to drop it off by 3.53 and it's 
3.46. So I made that on time, including having my McDonald's. Oh, right, let's get this stuff out of the car. This is going to be a nightmare. Say goodbye to the Dodge Caravan. Bye, Dodge. It's gone. Here goes the nightmare. The pushing of the stuff and the vlogging at the same time. Oh, but this isn't our first time, so we can do it. I think. That's taken two hours to get through security. Oh, and also, when I checked in for the flight, the guy forgot to give me my passport back. So I got halfway through and I'm so sweaty because I had to sort of sweat, stop sweating now. I had to leg it back. And he told me to wait and wait and wait. And then I said, have you got my passport? I said, I can't. I won't be able to get out of the country without it. He said, oh, I'm sorry. I forgot to give it your back. Div. Oh. There's a spirit plane going off. My suitcases are both over, I didn't say anything. They just put them on. Well, I know Central Florida has so much to offer. There's a good chance you didn't see it. Please come back and visit us again very soon. This is Orlando Bear, Buddy Dyer, and we hope you enjoyed your Orlando experience. Atlanta. I don't know which one we're on. Arrivals, departures, gate 74 we're on. That was a nightmare. I don't know if you heard me earlier. What happened was, I've not stopped sweating. I'm gonna stink on that plane. I checked in, left the check-in, went to security where I found that I didn't have my passport. And then I ran, of course I stopped on the spot. I thought, right, it's gotta be in this pocket, that pocket. I've stuck it somewhere, I don't remember and all that palaver did all that then thought right he's either not giving it me back or i've dropped it between here and there so i run back there where he then makes me wait and i went excuse me excuse me and he went just wait there i said all right i'll wait here and then when i miss my flight you can uh, put me in first class on the next one and he said well, well, he was like quite off for me. And I said, the same bloke who was nice before. I said, is there any chance I can have my passport back? Please. And then he said, oh, oh, I got distracted. Let me check. He went back to his desk and there was my passport sitting there. He went, oh, I'm sorry. I said, oh, don't worry about it. I'm glad I didn't lose it. You know what I mean? The fact it wasn't lost was a result. So I then turned around, went back to security and just spent... Oh, nearly two hours trying to get through security and that was uh, a bit of a mission I'm not having a moment like I'm just glad I didn't leave look on the bright side I'm glad I didn't lose my passport so it's not a stressful mission it's just a bit of a mission where was I second yeah second mission was get rid of the luggage and there not be an issue which there wasn't third one was not question why I've not just got one piece of air luggage and I've got three and two jackets or a jacket in the top and I thought, oh, they're going to kick it. Every one of them weighs a ton. That's full of camera equipment. That's full of, that's full of presents. So's that. Because there was no room left in the suitcases. And that was, but it was, they didn't want bothered about that. That was fine. So the next thing is to get on this flight, get off this flight, go through check-in again, because I'll have to go through the same process again in Atlanta to get onto the flight to go to Heathrow. Then we'll get to Heathrow. I don't know how long it's going to take to get through uh, border control. And then once that's done, it's collecting the luggage. Then it's, right, I can't be dragging this lot through London. So what I'm going to have to do is open the suitcases up, find a quiet spot, open the suitcases up and ram a lot of this into the suitcases, even though there's no room. And once that's done, I can then put my backpack on and then sling that brown thing over my shoulder. And then we're just try and get to London Heathrow gotta go to Paddington and then from Paddington to London Heathrow London Heathrow to Crew. then get the train from Crew. it's easy then as soon as I get to London Euston it's easy I just gotta get a train tomorrow afternoon and then I'll go to Crew, then go to Chester and then Ali can come and pick me up and I'll be done it's going to take me a full day to get back and I've already started. Oh, 
I'm still upbeat. I'm not, not moaning. I'm glad to be sitting down. I'm happy I'm sitting down. I've got this far. I love Christmas trees. Out here. Here's another one. I've seen millions of them. Ooh, that's a watch. That's a watch. Oh, I could do with spraying up. I'm sweating up again now. Uh, sit down and have a steak. Nah. I don't want that, that make me fart on the plane all the way back. I'll sit next to a stranger, dropping one. Oh, Starbucks. Ah, that's what I do. We go and get a nice coffee from there. I'm gonna carry it, I've got no idea. Stop moaning, eh? No, I'm in a good mood, everything's cool. I can turn the volume up again now. Oh, God, I wanna go. I've got a proper sweat on. Sweaty Betty. Hang on, where are we going? Battling each other. Hang on a second. Hang on a second, I'll rig you back. Can you make Edna tail of that? Welcome. <laughs> It's a cheeseburger bundle for $15. I hope there's one by F. It's on time. Hang on, what time? Well, we had a ton of turbulence on that flight, so there was no tea or coffee for us. I'm parched, I'm gagging for a brew. Apparently, my suitcases are finding their own way home, so all I've got to do is go down to that mad train thing. Hello, healthy. Hello, dear. This is where I left all the paperwork on the way in. Yes, really, is it? It's like a test track, isn't it? I told you, a test track. Please don't have to do security again. I don't think I'll have time. We've only got an hour. Ooh. This train is going out of service. Please exit. That means get the off. That was a good flight. I sat next to a lovely lady. She's on her way to Nuremberg to see her daughter. She hadn't seen her in 15 months. For obvious reasons. So I wish she's watching this. I wish you all the best. Porsche. I still prefer me van. So I've been living off Skittles. I eat any more Skittles and Mentos, I'm gonna look like one. I look like one now. That's nice, isn't it? Done a Christmas tree just for us. London, big penthouses of Parliament. We've got Aidy's farm at the back there. It's nice, isn't it? Crown jewels. The black cub, the telephone box. They love the telephone box, don't they? Is there anything open? Is there anything open? Is there anything open? Oh, shit. It's all shut. Oh, but I think this is the plane now. I think we're on. Hello, hello. And straight across to the right, sir. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Just our issues, please. Yeah. Oh, sorry, you didn't get one? I got one before. <laughs> warm cheese croissant or classic ham and cheese warm breakfast roll. Yes. Yeah. Not fancy in that. That breakfast is naff. If it was naff on the way out, it'd be naff on the way home. I'll do the chicken if there's any left, or the salmon. I don't fancy that thing in a cream sauce.
I'll see you when we get there. Slept all the way through it. As time slips away. Go! Be free, luggage! Be free! Whoa! Whoa! No! Oh, stupid luggage! Uh, I took the Mickey with the amount of stuff we could bring back. Again, all I gotta do is get on the train. Then I'll have a little reef pack and a panic in the 15 minutes it takes to get the Paddington and then the stress is on. I've got to get this lot on and off the underground. Missioni. No, it's all good. Glad to be home. Brilliant trip though. Go on, go home and see my doggies. And me. Oh, I'm sweaty carrying this lot around. Well, nearly made it home. You never guess where I am. I didn't even make it home. We're at Chester Railway Station. They threw me off the train. Nah, they threw everyone off the train. That's what these coaches are for. So there's been an accident on the line, so they've stopped all the trains. So I called Ali and said, can you get yourself up here and come and pick us up? So I'm just waiting to see where she is. Well, she'll be easy to spot, because she said she's got a headlight out. Noddy, noddy. Yeah, thanks for coming with us. That's been a cracking trip, even though I haven't made it quite home. We've got another trip coming up soon. I know you've seen a lot of me over the last couple of weeks. I tried to do as much as I could do on that first solo trip. Got another solo trip coming up. Got Vlogmas coming up. Please subscribe. Do all the YouTube before me. If you would do, comment, like, and all that. I put a lot of effort into this, and it'd be just take seconds, and it really helps the channel out. So I'd appreciate it if you could do that. Come on, Ali, where are you? Come on, where are you? I'm waiting for you. It looks like everybody else in the universe has been picked up but me. Come on. <laughs> Later, dudes. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Morning. It's pre-travel day. Oh, yes. And go to America. USA. 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 Good evening ladies and gentlemen, this is Captain Phillips speaking. If you look up to the hotel there on the left, that naked man there, that's Eddie Orlando. He's just arrived at Heathrow. Everyone give him a cheer. Yo, Jody! Woo-woo! Yeah, it's me! Oh, I, I'm gonna grab the... <laughs> Travel day. I'm in the restaurant where I've been a gritty piggy. I'm stuffed. A suitcase, a suitcase, a suitcase, a suitcase, a suitcase, 
This is the world's shittiest version of the generation game. Premier boss. So let's go. Yeah, go. baby! Morning, dude. I'm knackered. Look at the state of that as I'm getting ready. Uh, it's all my supplements to keep me old fucking bones from breaking. So I've made a right mess here. Prep station. That's all right, couch. Bedroom, state, hundreds of pairs of trainers. Getting prepped ready for today. Bathroom's massive. I'll show you this. Size of that shower. Look at that. You get about 20 honeys in there. It's me. What me? I've got to back up everything twice just in case I lose it. That's what we're in the middle of doing now. And then charging all the shit ready for today. I'll catch you later. I've just finished my run at 6 a.m. This is where I'm staying, Legacy Vacation Resorts. It's just by the red line on the 192. I'm in for a mental 24 hours going down to Bush Gardens. Look at the state of me. Ugh. Time to go and get showered. All right, have a good day. Hello, Mr. Duck. What is your name? My name is Dinosaur Duck. It's like you've got hemorrhoids all over the front of your face. Have you come to see Eddie? Excuse me, I've just drunk a bottle of Coke. Oh, it's well sharp with the fingers. Quick. Give your missy some, you greedy sod. There's no more. Right, I'm going. Did I just do Tigress ten times on the trot? You sure did. Cheers. Thank you. Ten times on the trot, baby. My head is so sweaty with this thing on. You can see it dripping down. I just want to show you the hotel that I stayed in. It's the worst hotel in America. I'll start with the coffee pot. I was going to get a drink, but I decided against it because I don't know what that is. No chance. That looks minging. I'm going to catch something. I think this place is risen, risen with COVID and hepatitis. And there's a few things bad about the hotel. If it's not the fag burns in the bed in there, it's the stench of weed that's outside. And the weed's not so bad. It's all the gang members that are out there smoking the weed. But there's also this, the blood on the wall. Now, I've seen enough episodes of Dexter to know that someone was lying on the bed here as they went and put a cap in someone's ass. And then outside, there was a party going on in that truck outside my window, which is locked by that dodgy bolt. This is the worst hotel I've ever stayed in. But that bed was comfy and I snore like a beast. So with all the nonsense that was going on outside the door, I think I just scared them off by my... Yeah. Yeah, don't stay here, because it's pants. Look at that. What a cool present. It was... a dollar fifty, And it's worn. So she should be well chuffed with that. I wonder if this was the people that lived here before they built this. The only loud person around here is me. It's another heaving day in here. I said I'd be back in a couple of hours. That was six hours ago. <laughs> His school, he asked, because he only had one pupil. God help him if that pupil was me. Excuse me, I've got a burp. I just had a big Dr. Pepper. Small planes with the smoke machine writes messages. It's usually Jesus loves you or this one says, Closer. Schla. Eik. No. I'll read it again. Say. Hey, hey. Schleek. No. Two exclamation points on that. I know what these are called. That's a stand, he's still doing nothing, fish. The crazy music, it's like Borat, this is. Yiximish, Drankui. My wife. Also, my sister. You like? I like. I five. Why? Why not? I go to America. I go to Frozen. Yiximish. So tempted to do the Borat dance. Being a proper dip now. I bet everyone in here knows where it is, and I don't know where it is. 
Oh, sorry, I saw the exit sign and I walked in here. Can I get back through that door? It's all right, I'll go back that way. I'm sorry. Well, that was embarrassing. Goals today. Want to do Tara Terry? Tara Terry? Tara Terry? Who's Terry? The staff are having their lunch down there. Oh, it's good. Well, I've just done Velocicoaster four times in half an hour. They're quicker than you realize, Claire. Sometimes when people, ah, when people come up by themselves. Ooh, a desk. More desks. I don't want to see desks. Oh, it's just my bad. Front row, baby. Yeah, baby. Oh, hi, camera. Hi. <laughs> What's he going to do? What's he going to do? Is he going to get wet buttocks? But dry buttocks. So it's just gone about 10 past nine. I did Velocicoaster four times and Hagrid uh, all by nine o'clock. Right, here we are. Hello, mate. Ugh. When she said they were behind her, she wasn't joking. They're directly behind her. Disney pins. Excuse me, love. You need to cover yourself up and see your bits. I thought that was a sexy bird. I was just giving her the eye and realised it was a mannequin with a hat on. A friend's fleece. Didn't even know that man made such a thing. Girl, yeah, he's a big fella. Fancy an alligator, Zed. Are they real? That's real. I didn't know you could buy stuff like that. And there's loads of them. I spend all those. I got a grilling by the lady in there. She said, well, where is your family? I said, they're not here. She said, why? I said, they're in the boot of the car. She went, what? Oh, you call it a trunk. I said, they're tied up in the trunk in the car. I said, I only let them out at weekends. What day is it? Wednesday. I said, they can stay in there for another couple of days before I let them out. She went, don't be so funny. There's the big orange on the 192. Main gate flea market. So she died. Massive indoor market. Swords, buddhas. Believe it or not, I am real. Oh, these mad heads. High five. That's my t-shirt. I'll just be pouting. You scared of some of that. Fancy a swim in there? What do you reckon lives in there? What we just saw in there lives in there. It smells like a baby's done a massive poo in here. It smells lovely in this bit. Oh, hello, love. That was weird. That went from the smelliest bit. Well. They're like a nappy full of green stuff. And they smelt like ladies. You know, nice smells. So I went, mm. See if we can find it without crashing. Massage, I could do with a massage. Oh, for nice sexy lady, give me a massage, yes please. Tattoos and piercing. Yeah, it's never a good idea, is it, to get that done on your own holiday. All I've ever heard is people going, yeah, I've got done all this, it's a really good idea. And then my arm went septic and it fell off. Your plank. Ticket, big eagle. Oh, pants are falling down, hang on. If I was to buy a sign, that's it. You just replace stupid people with divs. <gasps> it's priceless is what it is. Just over an hour, I did Velocicoaster four times, two front row, two back, and Hagrid. Two days on the trot proving that that wasn't a fluke. I'll stop speaking in clipped sentences shortly. Ugh. Heffalunce, anybody who loves a good ride, and that's most of us.
Yeah, where's that natty fish? The cat in the hat. It's a cat in the hat. Yeah, it's the fish. <laughs> I love that fish. It's in the bowl. I'll tell that fish to chill out. Magic Kingdom for Vickies. Vickies? Who's Vicky? Standing waiting for the fireworks for about 10 minutes and then I realised I was an hour off. Got an itchy nip. Ooh. That's a mad Scottish goat if I've ever seen one. There's Wakanda. That's the campus tiger I've ever seen. Italy. Why is he Italian Chinese? Bit of Julie Andrews. She was fit when she was younger, wasn't she? Bit of Mary Poppins. Yes, please. Oh, I can't keep this drivel up for another 20 minutes on this ride. But I'm going to try. Oh, when will it end? Just rubbing it in that I'm here and I've got this, and you're watching this at home and you haven't got one. So, oh. Hello, Paul. Bye bye, Paul. I love you, Paul. You love me too, Paul. You can be as loud as I want. There's no one in. Gobbledygook again. This is the maddest Volkswagen Beetle. It's crazy, I tell you, crazy. I'm overtaking the lobster. Eat my shorts, lobster. And I'm Hank Marvin. I've not had anything to eat yet. <laughs> Can't think straight when I haven't eaten anything. Straight off the bat, I like good. Right off the bat, I like good. Mm, mm, oh, taste it, taste it. Ah, oh, this lady's brilliant. She just said, Do you want to join the rest of your family? I said, No, because they're not with family. That'd be weird, wouldn't it? Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun, dun. I'm in full nutcase mode. Hello, hello. <laughs> I think I'll have a cheeseburger. Special sauce, fries. Ooh. 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 Guess who I found? Corky. Ah, that was making me too sad, that listening to all that Christmas music and being on my own. And then this unruly child started, got a bubble machine, and was doing her very best to get all the bubbles in my eyes. And then I was crying. I'm getting covered in bubbles. I feel like I'm some sort of Mormon convention. And I've got an unruly child that keeps blowing bubbles all over me. And I don't know what's going on on that screen. It's freaking me out. It's all too much. Right, I'm off. I've had enough of this. What is cheese pudding? If it's anything like rice pudding or semolina, you can poke it. Shelter, 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 shelter. People, people, run away, run away. I nearly walked into a plant pot. What's all this? Does this mean you're not allowed to go in here? I'm going in here anyway. We're definitely not supposed to be in here. Yeah, this is well naughty of me to go in there. Right, I better get out of here before I get told off. It would be nice if they left it alone, but they'd be on it, wouldn't they? They're noisy then too, aren't they? I thought I was loud. How loud is that track? Blah, 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 track. And I just braved walking through that. What a hero. Right, let's go shopping. I managed to find a parking space dead easy because I parked where there was a sign that said compact vehicles only. And I thought, well, it is compact compared to a lorry, so I stuck it in there. That'll do, wouldn't it? All right, Ed, we've got a contender. You might be getting one of them. Is that a wig? Deluxe quality, washable, layer wig, $8. Ed, has you sorted? That's cool. That's only $15. All right, if you're a midget or a kid, that'd be perfect for you. Nope. I'm getting loads of looks off, ladies. Or is it my big effeminate Epcot bag? Or is it my natural charm and good looks? Freedom! Goodbye, Ralph. I look all right now, won't I? Ladies bits. Ladies bits. Melon. Oh, gingerbread snaps Mountain Dew. The world's gone mad, mad, I tell you. Extremely attractive lady gave me four cans. She went, you're going home? I'll take loads, honey. Yes, please. I fell asleep in the hot tub, so we're running late. It's night bottom. Oh, that looks lush. Lush. Like this, I ain't like getting brain freeze. Don't have any more. Don't have any more. Oh, it hurts. Ah. Ah. I can't drink any more. 
it's really really nice it just hurts does anybody else fancy that big blue avatar i did oh, i've got no shame about it either all nine foot of her watch out for snakes 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 alligators snakes what's even in the grass can't trust florida grass don't know what's in it that's tarmac aid stop being scared of the tarmac oops a car should we do spaceship earth with japanese or german gonna get ready uh next time i see you we will 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 pants sexy pants we're on our way to the star flyer and i've taken one of my legendary shortcuts where are we i'm pretty sure that we're in the middle of nowhere all you gotta do is buckle yourself in and hang on simple just like sitting in a seat at home doing about 30 mile an hour at 400 feet. I got told off because I left something in my pockets, forgot it was there. It was cool, they just check your pockets for any bulges. Ooh. Hello. <laughs> woo, woo. Corny old doors, love it. Okay, what kind of stuff catches? Really hard, sorry. I've processed it online, invalid pin. It's not an invalid pin. Oh, that's a fail. No, right, I've had enough. Epic fail, Gordon. Not happy about that. I wanted to try his truffle chips. I thought she was missing a leg. No alcohol before on this point. Doesn't say no 80s beyond this point. Gordon, why couldn't I have your chips? <gasps> Train. Where did I park? I can't remember. I love this. This is nutty, this bit. Hello, little <laughs> Say it, AD. He's not saying it. AD. Say AD. You shouldn't shout ET. I am. Say AD. No. Ugh. Well, that ET ride was the nuttiest thing. My boobies are slapping in my face. Freeness of the three dollars. Dibs, dibs. What are we doing? Epcot, test track, soaring. I'm off, baby. That's right. Get out of Daddy's way. I want to go do the nighttime show and a bit of shit. You needed to turn right there, Aid, and slow down just a tad. We're in. The first time we've seen that in the daytime. That is gorgeous. Right, if I win the lottery, or if there's any rich women out there that want to marry me. And get a British visa, a British passport. Buy me one of them, and you that's it. I'll sign on the dotted line. Get me that red thing, and I'll make a load of babies for you. That's unrealistic, though. They just arrest me if I did that. Right, we better get moving. I'm waffling. Let's go. Joyful, a celebration of the ceiling. ceilings. Ceilings. Why is a door got to be masculine and feminine? It's just a door. It was $15 of like mud and grass and a pit of bread. So I threw it in the bin, and I vowed never to go back. Just makes you want to go in Mortal Kombat now, doesn't it? Whoa. Everything here is mad, and I love it in Japan. It's got the weirdest stuff. Ryan Reynolds. My hero, Academia. My hero's Buck Rogers. I've got a cat with sexy eyes. Then you're not looking at my sexy eyes, cat. Everything in here is blowing me away. What's that? It's basically a fake hand. How much is the fake hand for scratching your foot? It's $20 for a fake hand. I suppose if you're like Captain Hook and you haven't got a hand, that'd be quite handy. Try me, press button. What button? 
Oh, I nearly knocked it off. I'm not touching that again, it nearly fell off. Ah, oh, see, this is what I'm talking about. You don't get this anywhere else. It's an umbrella with a sword. This is getting better and better. Wooden shoes, wooden shoes. Wooden shoes that don't balance, and they're $60. Look, watch. So, wooden shoes that are gonna make you fall over. It's like someone asked me to invent a load of stuff and it doesn't work. Swords, swords. Yeah, it was one of these I tried to walk out with, one with a dragon on. So what are you doing buying a sword? So, I don't know, if someone tries to break into the house, I'm gonna, you know, yeah, like a kebab. Now, nah, what I was after isn't in there, sorry. Nearly dished him in the face with the camera. Oh, Italy. I've seen the real one of them in Vegas. Got a wet bum. And it wasn't because of frozen, it's because I wet myself. On the shop, me on the bootox. That's work, pal. Where are you, car? There we go. He's asleep in there. I'll just wake him up. Ah, we're here. Morning, everyone. Yeah, we'll check it out now. That's been a, anyone who knows me, that's been a chaotic. Mr. Eddie, you are an hour late. You need to go. You need to go now. They talk like Arnold. Get to the chopper. I'm skulking away before they come in their little security cars. Bang me up. I promised the bloke would be back in five minutes. That was up 45 minutes ago. <laughs> it's not as nice as like proper drinks like coconut chocolate. <laughs> The bubbly mountain dew ginger snaps. <sighs> I'm struggling to find things to do today. Um, <laughs> For the last time on this trip, oh, whoa, whoa. Disney Springs. Oh shit. Oops. Let's go. Oops. We've got these pink lounge fly bags that are very pretty. Everyone keeps asking me where I got my bag from. I said, well, Walmart. That is $25 for a bit of chocolate. That's an old grumpy looking Yoda, isn't it? I like the, I'd like a wall of them at home. As you get out of bed and go, morning guys, I've already played with him. There's the Tragical Express. We're going to Atlanta. I don't know which one we're on. Arrivals, departures, gate 74 on. That was a nightmare. I don't know if you heard me earlier. What happened was, I've got to stop swaying. I'm going to stink on that plane. I checked in, left the check-in, went to security, where I found that I didn't have my passport. And then I ran, of course, I stopped on the spot. I thought, right, it's got to be in this pocket, that pocket. I've stuck it somewhere, I don't remember and all that palaver, did all that, then thought, right, I've either, he's either not giving it me back, or I've dropped it between here and there. Honey Monster! Bella! Gaia! Ruby Doe! Right, I'm home. Later, dudes.